Hi, and welcome to my craft room. Isn't this just a gorgeous vintage card? We're going to try to figure out exactly how to get that brown background on this Baja Breeze cardstock. With this, the vintage wallpaper folder has been used. And as a reminder, remember the Stampin' Up! emblem means that your paper faces out. That's also the side that you'll do your brayering on. Now, I've already been practicing with this, trying to figure out how to do that. I brayered it first with the chocolate chip and way too dark, but it has that undertone of color. So then I tried the crumb cake, and let's see how that looks. Nope, don't care for that. Not quite a good match. So I went back to the chocolate chip, and I played around with it a little bit, and I want to share with you exactly how... Pamela Dots of Murfreesboro, Tennessee created this. So fill your brayer, then take a scrap of paper and lightly go over it a couple of times and with the remaining ink, and there's still plenty of ink on there. You want to go over this folder really, really thoroughly. And then I did the outside edges because anytime you work with vintage, it always has that darkness around the edge. So put your Baja Breeze cardstock in there, and I'm working with folder tab one, excuse me, tab one on my big shot. And I'm going to run that through. And then right when I get to the edge of that folder, I'm cranking it back. I want to, this way it'll give me depth of color and just a real nice effect. And let's see. Wow, that looks mighty pretty, doesn't it? And let's see how I did. Oh, gorgeous. Pamela, I want to thank you because I would have never tried that. Okay, and next we have a card here from Karen Brown of Huntsville, Alabama. And this is without the brayering. I just want you to see the design. I'm using the Stazon ink. Make sure you do not throw that plastic cover away. It keeps your pad wetter. But with the um, white, it recommends that you re-ink this often. And so I'm working that in. You can see how easy that is. And you want to fill your brayer thoroughly with the ink. I'm going over this several times, and you can tell it's bouncing. It doesn't have the, the nice handles to work with. Now, with the Stazon inks, is a little tip. Um, water will not clean this up. You're going to need to use the Stazon cleaner on the embossing folder and on your brayer. It's not that hard, but just a little bit different way of cleanup. Okay, now let's put our basic black panel into there. And we will run that through. And I'm going to repeat that process where I go to the edge of the folder. And then I will bring it back. And I've, you, if you've been following these videos, you'll notice that I've already created a card. And that will be the next step as I'll be teaching you how to do that. I just love that two-tone effect. And I'm putting that on that black just to show off how pretty that looks. Well, I thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you the next time.